In this video, we will go over inscribed angles. So this right here is an example of a central angle. So this is our center, our radius, our radius. And if this arc right here is 36 degrees, for a central angle, this will also be 36 degrees. Now, an inscribed angle is different. The inscribed angle will be half the measure of the arc. So if this arc right here is 36 degrees, then the inscribed angle will be half of it, 18 degrees. The inscribed angle is 18. It could look like this, it could look like this. Infinite possibility. Now, inscribed angles could solve a lot of problems. For example, if this arc right here is 90 degrees, and we want to solve for x and y, we can do so using inscribed angles. So this right here is an inscribed angle. x is an inscribed angle. Likewise, y is also an inscribed angle. So we know that x and y will be the same. Further, because x and y are inscribed angles, they will be half of 90 degrees. So half of 90 is 45 degrees. So x and y are both 45 degrees. Now if we have a 180 degree arc, then this x will be 90 degrees. It will be a right triangle. Again, there are infinite possibilities for an inscribed angle. 180 degrees, your inscribed angle could be this. Again, 90 degrees. Could be this. Again, 90 degrees. Could be this. Again, 90 degrees. And that's pretty much it for inscribed angles.